We hold these truths, a reverent review of the U.S. Constitution by Lawrence Patton MacDonald, Chapter 21, Restoring the Constitution. Obviously, federal regulatory agencies should be abolished, along with the food stamp program, federal aid to law enforcement, and federal aid to education. After guarantees are made for the government to keep fully its actual commitments to present OAS DHI pensioners, the Social Security Act as amended should be repealed and all programs operating under it abolished. All federal labor laws should be repealed, and so should all other laws authorizing unconstitutional federal regulating or subsidizing of the affairs of the states or of the people. The jurisdiction of federal courts should be stripped until they are doing only what the Constitution intends them to do. All foreign aid should be stopped. Our participation in multination pacts, such as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO Agreement, and the United Nations Charter, should be formally terminated. Our troops should be withdrawn from foreign lands, as was happening to agree in 1991 and 1992, and our armed forces trimmed down to such size as is needed for the defense of our homeland. We should return not only to traditional American foreign policy, but also to traditional diplomatic procedures in the handling of our foreign affairs. Not all, or perhaps any, of this could be done abruptly, but it could be done on a timetable comparable to the all deliberate speed schedule which the Supreme Court established for overturning our established social order. As each federal law or program is abolished, the federal bureaucracy and federal taxation should be instantly trimmed down accordingly. This would leave in the states enough money for the people to carry on immediately, either privately or through their local and state governments, any desired services comparable to the federal services terminated. The states would actually have more money for such purposes than the federal government is now providing because the excessive surcharge of federal administration would be eliminated. Nothing is more ludicrous and wasteful than the round-trip practice of taking our money to Washington in order to return to us a portion of it wrapped in federal controls. It is thrilling to think of what a free American people would do if they would get the federal government off their backs. There would be private building, producing, buying, selling, expanding, and creating of new job opportunities of all sorts, creating of private hospitals, nursing homes, and medical care facilities of all other kinds. All of this could be done readily if the presidency and both houses of Congress were controlled by genuine constitutionalists, their party labels making no difference. Yet thinking in such terms is a daydream. We presently have absolutely no chance to elect a president or a majority of senators who would even want to restore genuine constitutional government. The presidency and the Senate and elections for them are controlled by the powerful array of forces, including the mighty power of illicit government itself, determined to maintain all powerful government and make it even bigger and more powerful. For a long time, constitutionalists have been wasting their time and money trying to elect a good president or good senators, not knowing their efforts were doomed to failure. At the same time, they have been neglecting the one political effort that could save the Republic and restore constitutional government. That is, electing the only federal officials that the Constitution ever intended for them to elect directly, members of the U.S. House of Representatives. By concentrating their time, money, thought, and physical energy in their own congressional districts, people could find, train, and elect real constitutionalists to send to the House. Within the limits of a congressional district, 
they could organize a campaign to bypass the media and all other forces that now exert controlling influence on statewide or nationwide election. A House of Representatives controlled by constitutionalists and supported by the people could restore constitutional government even if the Senate, the President and the Supreme Court fought it all the way. Restoring constitutional government would be slower if the House had to do it all against the opposition of the Senate and the other two branches of government, but it could be done. Only the House of Representatives can initiate revenue bills. The House, all by itself, could not shoot the food stamp program, but the House, all by itself, could starve it to death. The solution to restoring the Constitution is as simple as that. It will require time, effort, and sacrifice to accomplish it, true, but not as much as it cost our founding fathers to win the blessings of liberty for us in the first place.